I thought it was a dead mole, but then it squirmed. I realized this is a baby kitten. I looked around for the mama or where the litter was. Where you gonna go, little? You know? You're okay. I'm here. You're all right. Mom never showed up. It was getting dark. We decided, well, we better take her in for the night. What you think? What you think? What you think, little one? She's not trying to walk anymore since she got tired. The vet said she has to eat every two hours. That went on for a few weeks. We weaned her to kitten food. She seemed real healthy. Once she could walk around, we started letting the dogs come closer. We have two dogs and two cats, but Brody was the one that was most interested in her. Brody was laying on the couch next to me, and I said, well, we'll put her down and see what they do. They really did hit it off right from the start. <laughs> Don't squish her. Don't squish her, what a good boy. He's always just very gentle. They play very well with each other. She'll come over and try to, you know, wrestle with him. So he'll then play with her and knock her off. She takes it and jumps back and then goes back for more. She can lay on him, she can stand on him. They were like two peas in a pod. It's fun raising a kitten again. Although you go through that phase where she's really a little alien sometimes. She'll steal the drapes swinging from the chandelier. That's her latest trick. She likes to clamber onto it, spins around, and falls off. But she's just a lot of fun to watch and see her grow. When we first found her, I couldn't understand how did this cat get out here because the nearest bush is 15 feet away. Then our friend goes, well, you know, cats sometimes have their litters up in a tree. We have a huge oak in our front yard and we go out and we look up in the oak and pretty much directly above where Dora was found. There's a nest, I guess Dora just fell, bounced and didn't hurt herself. She's a tough little cat. It's been seven months now since little Dora fell into our laps. None of us, especially Brody, could imagine life without her. We adopt a lot of pets, so once they're in the house, we know they're there for good. 